How's it going everybody? Taxis Man here. I hope you guys are all having a spectacular day. And I'm not going to do my normal intro for this video because this is a video that I actually had planned to make. Now, you might be thinking, what do you mean Texas Man? You didn't have any plans to make this video. It has taken me a while for me to actually have to come to terms to actually have to make a video talking about this and discussing this. And, and this has come to a head recently with the Thor Love and Thunder and uh, the Miss Marvel show. Um, not only in all of my reviews for the MCU of Phase 4, whether that's the movies or the games or the TV shows, and even sometimes on my live streams, if you guys have a chance to go back and rewatch some of my older live streams for from the past year or two, um, there have been comments and stuff put into chats and everyone's welcome to their own opinion don't get me wrong you are welcome to your own opinion opinion and you're welcome to disagree with me 100 percent the problem though is people are dying for content that they are defending crap they people are defending and hyping up garbage content Let's be honest, and you can disagree with me on this statement, I don't care. This is my opinion. My opinion. And most people are going to agree with me. If you're in the minority and you disagree with me, that's, that's, that's your opinion. That is okay with you to disagree with me in a civil way. However, in the past couple streams and videos that I've been putting out talking about the MCU, and even in past videos like with Black Widow and Eternals, people have been in an uproar. And they have been leaving a lot of ugly comments, death threats and stuff, which is funny because no one knows exactly where I live. <laughs> so it's like, it really doesn't hurt me at all. Like, you don't know where I'm at. Um, let's be honest, except for Spider-Man Far From Home and Spider-Man No Way Home, the entire Phase 4 lineup so far, and I don't see it changing at all. Like, the only thing I think that's going to be good for the rest of Phase 4 is Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I'm not hyped for Black Panther. I'm not hyped for She-Hulk. I wasn't hyped for the WandaVision show. I wasn't hyped for the Loki show, or Hawkeye, or the most recent Ms. Marvel. Nothing, literally, nothing in Phase 4 has got me excited except for... Two Spider-Man movies that we already had, and the Guardians of the Galaxy 3 movie that's coming out in a year or so. That's it. I don't, I haven't cared about anything else, and I still am not caring. And the reason being, partially the marketing, is that I have a friend that literally said, and I've said this in past videos, so I'm sorry if I'm beating a dead horse, but I have a friend that said that at, when he watched Avengers Endgame, he was done with the MCU. Well, it seems like Marvel slash Disney is done with the MCU as well because everything that they have produced has been either very mediocre, except for the two Spider-Man movies, has been everything else has been very mediocre or has been utter crap. Like, let's be honest, the Black Widow movie should have come out during phase one. This Miss Marvel show, as much as I hate it, it probably should have come out during phase one or two. It, it, it's like they're playing catch up like they had all these ideas like all these thoughts and ideas cooking in the oven but they didn't know which one they wanted to pull out and serve to us the audience first and it's like you know when something runs out of steam it, it's time to kill it off like you know there is too much of a good thing like I want the Stargate franchise to come back I want Stargate series 4 but, I mean, it's been, what, 10 plus years? It's been a decade or so since Stargate Universe ended. By the time the thing gets greenlit, most of the legacy characters, like Colonel Jack O'Neill, uh, Captain uh, uh, Carter, um, you know, every, uh, Daniel Jackson, Tilk, um, everyone from Atl the Atlanta show, everyone from Universe, all those actors are either going to be extremely old and not going to do much, or they're going to be passed away before filming begins. So it's like it's going to hurt that script. That's what I'm saying with the MCU. It is literally running out of the steams. It, it doesn't know 
where it's going. We don't know where where the MCU is going. Like, at least with Phase 1, it was cool and interesting. Phase 2, we knew that we were building up, starting to build up to something. Phase 3, we knew that Thanos was going to be the next level threat. What are we building up to when it comes to the next Avengers movie? What what What's the big threat? Is it going to be Kang the Conqueror? Is it going to be Galactus? We don't know who the next big bad guy is. And they keep saying, oh, we're going to tease it in the next Marvel movie. Well, six months later, no tease. Six months later, new MC project, still no tease. Um, it's just, it's hilarious. And me not liking the state of the MCU for phase four, I have had people literally call me a Christian white man. <laughs> Let that sink in for a second, okay? Because I'm not agreeing 100% with these people's ideology and their agenda and their messaging, I'm a Christian white man. I'm not going to confirm nor deny that. <laughs> because, you know what? Even if I was everything that you're accusing me of being, it doesn't do anything for the products that we were watching. Films and TV shows used to be entertaining. Like right now, I am re-watching Stargate, I'm sorry, Star Trek, The Next Generation. Like I've seen several episodes and whatnot, and I've seen a couple seasons, but I haven't seen it from start to finish. And that's what I'm in the middle of doing right now. Including all the original Star Trek movies, the original 10. I'm watching those as well. Those are entertaining, and that's what TV shows and films used to be, is entertaining. They weren't a platform designated for you to put out a six episode show and throughout it sprinkle in your ideology of politics and religion and feminism and men, all men evil and white people evil and you know you know if you don't agree with my viewpoint then you're just wrong says who <laughs> I just I find it interesting I find it hilarious that if you disagree with somebody on a show being bad that they personally go after you instead of trying to explain why you're wrong about your viewpoint of it being bad and the best way to do so is to tell the audience I'm sorry to tell that person what you liked about it and either they can't because it's got terrible dialogue it's got terrible characters that you can't root for or against the world building is garbage the characters are just, the, the plot is, the characters are boring, the plot is boring, there's nothing engaging. Like, a film or a show is supposed to engage you, just like a cinematic single player video game, for example. Let's take, for example, you know, what's, what's, what's the most recent example I can pull off of? Let's, let's, let's do Doom Eternal. You get engaged because you're killing demons and you're trying to save the Earth. Yes, it's a very basic plot but throughout the game you're upgrading yourself you're learning more lore and history about who the doom guy is and you're seeing what hell has done to the earth and you're incentivized to try to save what remains and save the human race and try to do something so humanity lives on after this travesty we don't we haven't gotten that in the mcu of phase four black widow hasn't given us Anything that we haven't seen before. Saying she hasn't done that. The Eternals was a three hour boring fest and extremely predictable. Miss Marvel, if you like it, fine, but I thought it was boring and predictable. Like, how many secret organizations can you possibly have just lying around to pop out of the shadows? And I don't care if they've been mentioned in past MCU stuff. They're now being put into the fourth front, and I just I don't care about them because they're not interesting. They're not engaging to watch on screen. And that's the problem. Nothing is engaging and gripping to me. Now, if it's engaging and gripping to you, fine. But here's the underlying problem. A cinematic universe is supposed to go from point A to a certain point B to finish and entertain everybody. And that is the 
biggest problem with the MCU right now with Phase 4 is it's not entertaining for everybody. Like, we didn't have this gigantic divide. We didn't have this gigantic divide during Phase 1 or Phase 2 or Phase 3. Yeah, there were some movies in there, like, you know, Thor The Dark World, that most people can agree was not all that interesting or great to watch. It's watchable, at least. But it's nothing groundbreaking or spectacular. Like, the only thing that really happens is Thor's mom dies and Loki dies again. <laughs> but we didn't have this divide. Most people like Phase 1, 2, and 3 because the characters were engaging. And it didn't matter who you are as an audience member. It doesn't matter your politics, your, your gender, or your religion, any, any, any of your viewpoints. Watching Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase 1, 2, and 3 is enjoyable for everybody. And everyone's got their own favorite MCU movie within that first three phases. But except for the Spider-Man films, everything else has been either very mediocre or has been just utter crap. And I, I, I'm, I'm getting to a point where I don't want to watch any more of the MCU. Not because of the evil hate in my comment section for my videos, but because I'm finding the MCU to be boring to watch and boring to review and what's really weird is that if I make a video that goes against what all these people are you know thinking and going to say I get tons of views so I might actually watch the first episode try to watch it from start to finish watch the first episode of She-Hulk just to review it just to see how many views I can get just to see what my live stream chat is going to be like. Just to see what the comment section will be like. I, I'm interested to see the result. You can enjoy this. But maybe the prob the biggest problem is, is that maybe the MCU is no longer for the people that watch the first three phases. If phase four, five, six, seven, whatever, is going to be for a different target audience... That's not the people that have been watching since the very beginning. That's fine. But maybe they should put that in the marketing somewhere. Maybe they should make that announcement. It's like, yeah, we're going to make all these different changes to all these characters and their origins. And we're going to make all these uh, characters gay so it can appeal to this audience group. And we can rack in this money from them. And it makes them happy. Even though it's going to piss you off, this isn't target audience you're not the target audience anymore like they need to come out and say that if the mcu is not for the people that really enjoy the first three phases of the mcu and stop really caring about it after avengers endgame they need to say something they need to make some sort of public statement that's a good make a public statement say something because they still think at least that's in my viewpoint that the people that watch the first three phases of the mcu are enjoying the first four, the, the phase four right now. Um, because it's making money, but in general, people are critically not liking it. And then you have general audience members that are loving everything about it. Like, it's just, it's just bonkers. It, it's really weird. Like, like, like the Lightyear movie that came out. I, I'm like, I'm going to wait for that to come out on Disney+. Plus. And I will watch and review that travesty from what I've heard. I haven't seen anything of it. But I haven't seen the movie at all. I haven't even seen clips online. I have not seen clips online. But I'm just like, you know, I'm getting to a point where I am I am so done. I, You know, I'm done with prequels. I am done with watching sequels. I'm done with watching reboots. And I am so bored now. It's really weird. I am bored of superhero movies. You know what's really sad? Is I'm more excited for the DC Universe now than Marvel. <laughs> I am excited for the Aquaman movie. To Aquaman 2 movie. I'm excited for the Black Adam movie. I'm excited for Shazam 2, Fury of the Gods. I'm not excited for anything in the Marvel Universe. And that used to be the other way around a decade ago. So... Marvel needs to figure out who their target audience is because I feel like they don't know what their films and shows are for now. Who, who they're for. And they need to figure that out. So, 
Thank you for listening to me ramble. I figured, you know, it's about time I made this video because I've, you know, been talking about MCU Phase 4 movies and shows for a while now. And, you know, you're welcome to disagree with me. And have a civil conversation. But if you're going to be a person that just says, oh, you're wrong because you disagree with me. And you have a uncivil conversation with me. And you start sending death threats and leaving links to nudity sites on my channel. That doesn't prove your point whatsoever. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys would also head over to Twitch. Follow me there at Douglas447. And Discord at 6957, the Texas man. If you guys want to have a lengthier conversation. That is much easier to type out and um, discuss with me. If you guys are interested. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. I will be reviewing the first episode of She-Hulk. Oh, that will be hard to watch. <laughs> Bye, guys.